Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Arena. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you four useful elemental design tips and tricks you can do on your website without the use of any line of CSS code. So without further delay, let's get started. So the first we'll be talking about is what I call the box shadow styling effect. So to achieve this, we're just going to come over here and then we're going to add a container. We'll just drag and drop this container here. For this container, we're going to set the content width to full width. And then for the width, we're going to change the uniform percentage to pixel and give it a value of 400 pixel and then a minimum height of 500 pixel. So you now have something that looks like this. Okay. So now we'll go to the styling. For the styling, what we're going to do is we just come over here and give it a background type classic and give it a color of um, black. Okay. Now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do here is... Um, we're just going to come down to the border. Now for the border, we're going to select the box shadow. All right. So now the first thing we're going to do here is for the color, we're going to come here and change it from transparent color to a solid color. Now we'll take it here and let's uh, give it, change the color to red. Now we'll come over to the blur and change it, this value from 10 to zero. And now uh, here is where the tree comes in. Now for the horizontal, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a value of 30 and then for the vertical we're going to give it a value of 30 so you can now see what we have created the effect we've created now you can also come over here and go to the border radius and do some a little tweaking by just giving the border to the left border radius to the left 30 pixel and then to the right 30 pixel as well so you now have something that looks like this and in a situation whereby you're not okay with the position of this effect you can you want to shift it to the left you can just simply do so by going back to the box shadow and then for the horizontal you just give it a negative value and then for the vertical you also give it a negative value and you now have something that looks like this now the wonderful thing about this effect is it doesn't just end at uh, creating cards with it you can also apply this effect directly to an image and we can do so by let's just duplicate this and then let's delete this Okay, now let's come over here. Let's drag and drop an image. Now for this image, we go to the style option. Now for the width, we can just come over here and we're going to change to pixel. All right, then we're going to give it a value of, let's say, um, 300 pixel. And then for the height, we're going to come over here and give it a height value of, let's say, 400 pixel. We'll now have something like that. And for the object fit, we just come here, set it to cover. Let's go over here and let's add, select an image. So we can choose so many of the images we have here. So I'm just going to choose this image here. Okay. All right. So now that I've done that, now I'm going to head to the style option. For the style option, I'm going to come down here to where I see box shadow. Now I'll come here just like I did for the container. I'll change this color here to solid color. And then I'm going to come over here and give, change the color to, let's say, red. And then for the ball blur, I'm going to remove the blur from 10. I'll set it to zero. And then uh, for the horizontal, I'm just going to come over here. Same thing I did here. You can increase the value depending on the size of the ball box shadow you, you want to apply. So I'm just going to use the same, which is 30. And then for the vertical, 30 as well. And you now have something like this. Okay. And then we can still go over here to the border radius and do some more tweaking here, giving it. 30 here and 30 to the right you now have something like this and if you're not okay with the position you can still come over here set it to negative 30 and then negative 30 as well and you still have something as beautiful as this so it depends on where you want to use it but this feature you can apply to pre basically anywhere you there is an option for box shadow you can just apply this uh, effect to it without the need of any css code so the next we'll be talking about is what i call the long image scroll on hover okay so to achieve this we're just going to come over here let's drag this container here and then let's set the content width to full width change the unit of the width to pixel and then let's just give it 400 and for the minimum height let's set it to 500 okay so now what we're going to do next is we're just going to come over here to the style option now for the background, we're going to come here, set it to classic, and we're going to add a background image. Now, 
just make sure that the image you'll be using is a long image that is the height of the image is way longer than normal or regular image height so this is a sample of the image i'm talking about as you can see how long it is okay so for the effect to show clearly should have an image of this nature okay so now select this image and then you come over to this position you set the position to top center and then for the repeat you're going to set the repeat to no repeat and then for the display size you're going to set it to cover okay now the next thing we're going to do is right here we're going to go to the hover and now for the hover we'll still set the background type to classic and we're going to add another image now this image you'll be adding is the same image you added on the background so this is the image here we're just going to add it as well same image you added on the normal background we're going to add it at the hover background as well okay so now we'll come back to the setting same setting but just a few difference from the position now for the position here instead of top center we're going to set it to bottom center and then for the repeat still no repeat display size we're going to set it to um cover now for the transition duration we're going to increase it from 0 0.3 we're going to set it to like let's say five okay so now when you hover you're going to see this is what we get and when you take your cursor away it returns back so you successfully added a long image scroll on your website without any line of css code so the next we're talking about is what i call the inner border styling effect now you may not understand it from the title but once we're done you will get the whole idea so now to achieve this we're just going to come over here let's drag a container here now for this container we're going to set the content width to full width and then for the width we're going to change the unit to pixel give it a width value of 600 and then a minimum height of 500 okay or let's give it 400 let's have something rectangular 400 like so okay the next thing we're going to do come over here we just file content to the center align items to the center as well and now let's go over here and then for the background type let's change it to classic and then give it a background color of of black and then let's come down here for the border let's give it a border radius of uh, 30 pixel so we'll now have something that looks like this okay so now the next thing we're going to do here is we're just going to come over let's rename this to uh parent the reason we're renaming this is so that when i'm making reference to it you know the container i'm actually making reference to because we'll be adding another container here so we'll just go back here and then we're going to drag another container into this container here now for this container here we're going to call it the inner container okay all right so now what we're going to do is for this inner container we're going to set the content width to full width and then for the width we're going to change the units from percentage to pixel now if you remember for the parent container the width we gave the container was 600 pixel now for this inner container we're going to take 50 pixel from the 600 pixel of the parent container and then for the inner container we're now going to have a width of 550 and then for the height which for the parent container was set to 400 we're going to set the inner container height to 350 so that means we've taken we've taken 50 pixel as well from the minimum height so now for this same container here we can come here justify content i like content this is optional and that will now go to the styling option now for the styling option we come over here to the border now we're going to come here give it a border type, set the border type to solid and then give it a value of let's say three and then for the border color we can set the color to white or red as the case may be depending on what you want and then now for the border radius remember the parent container will give the parent container the border radius of um 30 pixel now for the inner container in order to make it align well with the the parent container we're going to give it a border radius of 20 pixel so now we have something that looks like this as you can see this is our inner border we've added to this container now the good the beauty of this is that it doesn't just end here now you can go as far as you can change the border the border color you can also go back and then to the background and we're going to do something else now for this inner back container here we're going to set the background type classic and then for the background color we're going to set it to transparent and then we're just going to come over to the parent container 
and then we'll go back to the styling and uh, for the background we're now going to add a background image to it now you can add whatever image you want to add depending on the 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 nature of the design you want to get from this so i'm just going to show you an example by let's select this image here and add it and then you can see this is what we we'll get now you can see and then we can just come over here and add whatever we want to add to our container here and then come back here let's drag this text add the text uh then style it set color to white you can go back to this inner container let's give it padding of 20 pixel all around and then for this text let's align it to the center go back here drag a button and you've successfully built a simple basic card with an inner border styling and then you can still go back to the parent container change the background to whatever background you want you can still come here let's say we select this background image here and then we'll come here change the position to center center the repeat to no repeat and the display side is only to cover you can see you've created something wonderful like this you can even still add a background overlay if you're not quite okay with what you're seeing you can add a background overlay to it and this is what you get so this is another wonderful effect that you can achieve without the use of any css code so at the end you're not restricted to only um adding the effect to containers that take this shape you can also add it to other shapes like these great shapes of this nature as well the next we'll be talking about is how to change image on hover so i'll be showing you two ways to achieve this now the first method is by coming over here let's add a container and then for the content we're going to set it to full width and then for the width we're going to generate value to pixel give it a value of 400 and then the minimal height of 500 okay so now let's go over here to the styling option for the background type set it to classic and then we're just going to come here uh we're going to add an image to it okay now for this image we're going to select the back image okay and then we'll come here set the position to center center and the, the repeat to no repeat uh for the display size we're going to set it to cover okay so the next thing we're going to do we're going to come over here to the widget area and then we're going to drag and drop an image to it now for this image you go to the style option for the width we're going to send change the unit from percentage to pixel and give it the same width as the container that houses the image which is what we set to 400 and then for the height we're going to set the height to the same height as that of the container which is what we give 500 pixel and now for the object fit we're going to set it to cover now let's go to the content and change the image so we'll be setting the image, the front image, this image now. We're selecting that. So we'll now have something that looks like that. If you hover, nothing happens. So in order to add, to add this effect without any CSS, what you're going to do is just come over to the style option here. And then you come down here for the hover. You're going to go to the hover. And for the opacity, you're going to give the opacity a value of zero. And then for the transition duration, we can give it a uh, set the transition to 0.3 so when we hover this is what we get so you can see this is what we get when we hover our image changes and shows us the back image without any line of css code we're able to achieve this now the downside about this is that now with this effect here you cannot add any content within this container here this image is only it's just going to be the only content but the, however you can make the image clickable by coming over to the content area and then for the link you just set it to custom url and you can add your link here or add your dynamic tag url here okay so now for the second method i'm just going to pause this video and then click this so we'll start it afresh so as you can see we have the same container created here with the width 400 and then the minimum height 500 so now to, to apply the second way to which we can achieve an image change on hover we just come over here to the style option and for the background type we're going to set it to classic and then we're going to add our image to it now in this case here we're going to add our front image to it so to the background on normal we're going to add our front image to it 
and then for the position setting, center, center, and then for the repeat, no repeat. Display size is still going to set it to cover. Now, for we're going to head over to the um, hover, then the background type, we're going to set it to classic, and then we're going to add our image. This time around, we're going to select the back image to it, and then we're going to select this. Okay. Now, for the position, we're going to set the position to center, center, repeat, no repeat, display size, cover. And then for the duration, we're going to leave it at 0 0.3 as well. And so when we come over here and we'll hover, we'll now have the same effect. As you can see now, the difference between this one, now this method and the first method is that with this method, you can still add other things to the container. So for the container now, let's go here and let's just come to the layout and justify content to the center and align items to the center. And then let's go to the advance and give it a padding of 20 pixels all around. Okay. Now let's come here and drag a heading and then let's style the heading give it and then let's come back here and let's drag a text editor uh let's go over here set it to center center change the color to white and then we'll come back here and we can drag a button as well and make it clickable by adding a url here uh voila you can see you've successfully created a container here with a hover effect as you can see so we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope you've learned something new and if you've done that please remember to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to our channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when next i drop a new video and if you have any questions suggestions feel free to drop it on the comment section of this video and i'll do well to attend to them all but until then see you on our next video bye bye